I didn't talk about this, and it's extremely difficult to really parse what um, what has been asked of the FCC. Um, in the United States, there is a balancing act. We don't in the Constitution. There is no constitutional provision for what is understood to be a department or an agency. The whole idea of everything in the U.S. being governed by some governing body and some office out of Arlington. That's a relatively recent concept uh, right before World War II um, in the 1930s. FDR basically reorganized the federal government um, because he had four terms. He basically, and he had also had World War II, so he had emergency powers to do whatever he wanted. He basically defined the concept of everything being in a department and also an agency. So there's a sort of balancing power where the enabling acts that create an agency body have a judicial, executive, and uh, legislative uh, body in each of them. So each agency has its own appeals process, its own executive, and also its own like set of rules that are defined by the Congress. And the executive power, which is the president, can inform these agencies how to act. And that's supposed to be balanced and uh what it does is it creates a giant fucking mess that nobody can penetrate or understand fully and which can basically get away with whatever the fuck they want to do um so the fcc which is governed tasked with governing communications in the united states has been asked by biden to establish rules for digital equity and what it says in its uh stated purpose is that po people the blacks and uh, indigenous Americans um, do not have the same level of access to um, to the internet as whitey, basically. And it actually specifically points out, and so just so you know that this isn't a racist thing, and they're not just saying we need to give more free internet to black people or whatever the fuck, Biden goes out of his way in this paper to make note to the FCC that the Amish population doesn't have the same levels of access to the internet as everybody else. So we need to do more to make sure that the Amish can get online. And that's not even a joke. It literally says that in the document. So, um, this, this thing is 78 pages long and it's extremely difficult to parse. I've gotten pretty good at reading like legal paperwork. I cannot penetrate what the fuck this is trying to say and what it's trying to accomplish. I've never seen a legal paper that seems to like suggest things without actually answering them. And I assume that's just how um, the executive branch deals with agencies because it's like, well, we believe that Amish people don't have access to the Internet, same as everyone else. And so uh, what's the FCC going to do about that for equity and shit? Uh, and the, it's the job of the FCC in response to be like, well, um, I guess we can set up some 5G satellites on in Pennsylvania. <laughs> like that's I, I, I assume that it's asked like a question so that the FCC has to answer it in its policies. Um, the commissioner of the FCC came out against this and said it didn't make any sense. But the FCC uh, has passed it regardless of the commissioner's objections. And from what I understand, what I have read is that the the president asked the agency to task basically everyone with making sure that people have equity to the Internet, regardless of race and sexual orientation and pregnancy status, which includes not just ISPs, not just telecom providers, not just infrastructure uh, owners like uh, the tier one ISPs, but also landlords. <clears throat> So the FCC can now uh, regulate landlords to make sure that when you are renting that your, uh, your domicile provides equitable access to the internet. And what that means is a complete mystery to absolutely everyone, which is why they were against that. So basically anything that can be expected to provide or facilitate the internet is now under the purview of the FCC and they are allowed and expected to by their orders from the government to intervene and figure out um, how to increase access to, to black people in the Amish. And uh, that's what they, uh, what, 
but they done and i i in case you're wondering i went through it and i i tried to read it the best i can i saw no mention whatsoever about specific companies being cut off for political affiliation or whatever so uh very carefully in 78 pages it manages to outline absolutely nothing of note while not impacting us in any way shape or form enjoy amish twitter is gonna be crazy hell yeah what about the black amish we don't ask questions about the Black Amish. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.